Welcome, I'm Maliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. Can you affect someone by thinking about them? Can they feel you thinking about them and are they affected in the way that they feel, in the way that they think, and what it is they're experiencing in their day by your thoughts? Well, this depends. I'm going to talk about as many different situations as I can think of and cover in this video. When it is that you think about someone, your energy is flowing outwards. And if this person has connected with you in some way, especially if they are also attracted to you, then they can feel it. If though you're thinking about someone who is not aware of your existence, is not consciously aware of you, is not also attracted to you in some way, then they cannot feel this energy flowing towards them. When we feel someone, the reason that we feel their thoughts coming towards us is because there is a mutual attraction. It doesn't mean that both people feel exactly the same way for each other. But what it is, is that something has caught your eye, something has caught your attention, and your senses are open to this person. Your inner being, your subconscious, is tuned into them energetically and is watching them in some way to see, hey, do I really want something more from this person? Let's see what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're doing. It's not like you turned into a subconscious spy, but what it is is that you are tuned into them. And this is natural. It is a way for you to have your antennas open and alert into, hi Mew, are you thinking of me? Huh? This is Mew. Say hi Mew. Don't scare people. Don't scare people. <laughs> Mew has these huge eyes. Look at Mew's eyes. Is Mew gonna look at you? Mew! So, <laughs> when you are thinking of someone, the way that you think of them, if you're thinking of them in this powerful way because you are so attracted to them, come Mew, because you're so attracted to them and this huge amount of energy is flowing towards them. If they are in tune with you, even part of them is on the lookout, trying to pick up signals from you, then they'll feel it. They'll feel what it is you're feeling, and many times they'll feel it as if it's their own feelings. When though you're thinking of someone who has not tuned into you, maybe they've met you, but nothing truly caught their attention, they're focused elsewhere, then they will not feel it. You may know hundreds of people. It's not that you feel everyone that thinks of you in the day. You feel the people that you too are looking towards internally. It also depends on how it is that you are thinking of someone. Are you thinking of them because you are truly attracted to them? Hi, Mia. Are you are you thinking of them because you're truly attracted to them and you're thinking of them and you're madly in love? Then these feelings of love will come towards them and if they too are in tune towards you, they will feel this love coming up from within them. It's not that you feel this energy flowing to you from outside of you. It comes up from within. And that's why if you're not truly aware of how your feelings are and what it is you are thinking and feeling and experiencing, you're not really aware of your energy, in tune with your thoughts, your energy, then many times you can confuse someone else's thoughts, someone else's feelings, someone else's energy as being your own. That's why becoming more and more aware of you and being centered in your heart, in your core, feeling your energy will make it so much easier for you to say, wait, wait, this isn't me. This is coming from him. This is coming from her. 
and then it will be easier for you to have insight, clarity into how it is you feel and what it is you want to do, how it is you want to move forward. Now, when someone is thinking of you in a negative way, they're having jealousy come up, anger, hatred. People don't just think of someone because they're in love with them. They also think of people because they're having negative feelings come up. Then this can affect you if you're in tune with them because you'll feel a heaviness. How can you know that it's coming from someone and it's not you just feeling this heaviness? Again, it's you knowing how it is you're feeling, being in tune with your energy. Become more aware of how it is you're thinking of someone. See how you may be affecting them. Are you thinking what you want to be thinking? Are you thinking of who you want to be thinking about? Know that you can shift your energy, you can shift your thoughts, you can shift your attention. If you're thinking about someone you don't choose to be thinking about, shift your attention. If you're thinking in a way that is not making you feel happy and expansive, shift your way of thinking. It truly is a choice. I've created a course that can help you shift your thinking, that can help you move and shift into being heart-centered, into moving into love, into the energy of love, the energy of love that is and always has been within you. And the more you move into the energy of love, the more you experience love around you. It has to do with the energy that you are standing in and that you are attracting and bringing into your life. It's called the Attract Love Course. The link is down below. Check out the course. See if it is for you and if you're ready to move into being heart-centered. If you're ready to let go of past relationships, old ways of thinking of people, of feeling stuck, of living completely, repeating cycles that keep going again and again and again. If you're ready to shift out of that, this is the course for you. Now, when it is that you want to think of someone and you're choosing to affect them in some way, it's not that if you're sending these mental signals and you're causing someone to feel in a specific way, that you will truly attract love in that way in your life. Because there you're controlling the other person's thoughts and feelings. You don't want to control someone. You want them to choose you. The more it is that you can allow things to flow, allow love to come into your life, by choosing love from within you, the more it is that you will attract the person who is truly meant to be at your side, with whom you will really, really experience happiness and love, that you will be a perfect match for one another. Now, what do you do when you feel someone else's thoughts, someone else's energy coming towards you? The thing is, if you move your energy into your heart, into your core, and you stand in your own energy, then you will move into who you are, into your thoughts, your feelings, and this will truly clear the energy that's coming to you from other people. If someone's just thinking of you because they're thinking of you, it's not positive, it's not negative, they're just thinking, then Perhaps if you are in tune with them, again, you will feel it. So in many cases, the answer is that yes, if someone also knows you and they have turned their attention towards you in some way, then they will be affected. They will feel it. And depending on how it is you're thinking about someone, what it is you're feeling, they will be affected because they will feel this energy coming up from within them. Now, we can know hundreds of people. We're not in tune with hundreds of people. It's usually one, maybe two people, 
sometimes three, that you are in tune with. You're not in tune with everyone that you love, everyone that you care about, all your friends and family. You're in tune with the people that you are mostly um, putting your attention on at the time. And this is not something that's always true, that this is the person that I think of throughout my life. No, it's something that flows. During this period of time, my focus is there. Perhaps in a day, in a week, in a month, my focus will shift to someone else. It really depends on your life situation, what it is you're experiencing, what it is you are going through. And things do come in cycles. And people that we think about, I believe that we think about them for a reason. For us, perhaps, to gain more insight about our energy, what it is that we choose to be experiencing, feeling, thinking. Remember that it is a choice. You choose how it is you feel. You choose what it is you think about. You choose who it is you think about. And most importantly, you choose the energy that you're in. If you choose to be in heavy energy or choose to be in more expansive, more high vibrational, high frequency energy, be in that energy of love, of happiness. It is a choice and it is constantly flowing. It is constantly evolving. So allow it to flow. Allow it to take you where you need to go. But be aware of your thoughts and be aware that your thoughts can affect people who do care about you, who also think about you. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also remember to like. Thank you so, so much for being here.